October of 2000, I happened to read the obituary of Hedy Lamar, the famous screen siren of the Golden Age at MGM. I remember seeing her in Tortilla Flats when I was very young, and a little later in DeMille Samson and Delilah. She was in fact a remarkable woman. Having created a sensation in 1933 with a nude swimming scene and, for its period, a very convincing episode of lovemaking with her co-star, she made the Czech movie Ecstasy a famous episode in the history of cinematic candor. In that same year, however, she married Friedrich Mandel, the Viennese arms manufacturer who became friends with Hitler, Goebbels, and Goering during the rise of the Nazi regime. Eventually, he was a major producer, on the scale of Krupp and Herzenberger, of armaments during the war. Mendel was extremely jealous and quite horrified at the famous nudity and lovemaking in ecstasy. He bought up all the copies of the film he could lay hands on and more or less imprisoned Lamar in his castle. Before she escaped in 1937 disguised as one of her maids, she had sat through many technical discussions between Mendel, Nazi officials, and other industrialists. Lamar was a smart and mathematically literate woman, and she understood everything that was said. By the time she escaped, first to Paris and then to the United States, she intended to put her knowledge to use. I learned from the obituary that once Lamar was settled in Hollywood and had reignited her acting career with the help of Louis Mayer, she asked around about making contact with someone who understood synchronization. She was put in touch with George Antal, the avant-garde composer and friend of Pound and Joyce, who was now also in Hollywood writing music for the movies. Antal was mainly known, and is still mainly known, for his score for the movie Ballet Mechanique, which eventually became a standalone concert piece for percussion and 16 synchronized player pianos. Lamar asked him if he could help her design a radio-directed torpedo according to the principles that we now call spread spectrum technology. It turned out that he could, although he had to work almost entirely with the number 88 since all of his previous experience with synchronization had to do with that number of piano keys. In fact the two collaborators did eventually design such a scheme, got it patented, and tried to convince the War Department that the contraption would actually work. The patent gathered dust until Sylvania began developing transistor technology in the 1950s. The patent in fact is the prototype of designs used for cell phones, wireless internet, and today's so-called smart weapons. Only at the end of her life did Hedy Lamar obtain any credit at all for one of the most important inventions of the 20th century. I began at once to write a poem that deals with the Lamar and Hill collaboration in the context of many other things happening in the lives both of the two principal characters and the lives around them. Of great importance in following the text is the association of scenes from a number of films from the period, especially Ballet Mechanique itself, which is almost entirely abstract or cubist, and Dan Haman, about an inhuman singer whose cold and calculating life leads to her being shouted down by a large audience in the famous Théâtre de Champs-Élysées in Paris. The connection with Antal in the second film has to do with a performance of several piano pieces at the Théâtre de Champs-Élysées that did indeed start a riot that was filmed, and in fact anticipated, by the director of Lan Humain, Marcel Lerbillé. The actress Georgette Leblanc was superimposed on Antal in the film so that it looks like the audience is directing their ire at her character, Claire Lesca, rather than at Antal but the riot itself appears to be entirely authentic because it was. In fact we see people like Pound, Joyce, Guzham and others who attended the entire concert shouting down the rioters on behalf of the person who appears to be Claire Lesca in the film, but who was actually George Antal. There are many other historical characters and references in the poem. Some years after having published it on the internet, in a magazine, 
and in my book called Working Progress Working Title, I had the thought that it might make an interesting theater piece if we could add a lot of documentary material in sound and image. Chris Jara has taken on this task with great enthusiasm and skill. Hedy Lamar does not speak in the poem, but she is much spoken about. The main voices are Claire Leska, who steps out of Lan Humane as the kind of mechanical figure she was portrayed to be in the film, but who in the course of the text morphs into a fully mature contemporary robot inhabiting a robotics lab at MIT. Her voice is read by Joyelle McSweeney. General background and commentary is filled in several times by the voice of an over-enthusiastic <laughs> 1940s radio journalist type. One might think of Walter Winchell, if anyone remembers that name. Steve Fredman reads that part, as well as the brief intrusion of Salvador Dali's voice in the course of a dialogue in California with Cecil DeMille about surrealism and the Angiam Andalou. I will read the text of various links and connections, as well as one voice in the two dialogue sections with Joyelle Claire Leska. The title of this, <laughs> by the way, is Automistifstical Place, and place is spelled with an I. A few other references to keep in mind. Autuil, often referenced with regard to Anthal and his circle, a French race course, Boski, George Antilles White, Ari Bert Mug, the co-star with Hedy Lamar in Ecstasy. Pecavia, the artist whose painting of Le Ballet Mechanique appears behind me. Damire's Washerwoman, looped and rhymed in the Ballet Mechanique film. Café du Dôme, popular Parisian hangout during the pre-World War II period. Anchien and Delu, surrealist film by Dali and Louis Bagnel. Midi, a computerized device used by contemporary composers. R.U.R., Russell's Universal Robots, a play by Carol Capek in which the word robot first entered literature. The Plains Men, a Tamil film with Gary Cooper, Niels Barry Sully, a Princeton mathematician and thinker. In the beginning, without any mother, the girl was born a machine. In the year of erotic parades, the novia poured out the oil, the gears were engaged, the etudes composed, and the light bulb was American. Voila Picabia, sweetheart of first occupation. Voila ballet mechanique. We'll not eat our bread by the sweat of our brows in the end. Je viens pour toujours, it is error and grief you'll be known by, the strength of our steel, the number of rivets, and not by the river, where fishermen cast are the last of your towers to build on the strength of our dowry. Anti, Olga. Boschke, Hetty, and Ez, she says, or probably better, Olga and Ez, Antile and Boschke, Hetty, Kiesler, Mondo Lamar. That's Mondo Fritz, the armaments man, the war profiteer. Hetty Kiesler, the naked broad in the film. It won't be a dance. It won't be ballet mechanique. Ecstasy, rather. A run through the woods and a swim. The actress saying, Sex in this movie is real. So Hetty and Fr Mondel's lieutenants will buy up, buy up and burn any print they can find so Hetty and Fritz can entertain Hitler and Moose. Aribag Moog is di displaced. The telescope on the lens enlarges another face from about a decade before. They enter a judgment, Théâtre des Champs-Élysées, Everyone's there. The soloist doesn't know that he is a she. He doesn't know he's set up. 
doesn't yet know they've scripted him in a riot. Those lights are too many, too bright. Mere human being, he sits there robotic. She looks like a presence out of Bohemia via Berlin's R.U.R. He begins with Sonata Sauvage. A camera's panning the audience, picks out the famous Picasso and Joyce, Duchamp, Milo, and Satie. We see them there with LeBlanc as Lescaut in the film, but we don't hear a sound. Mr. Pound leaping right out of his seat and shaking a fist as people begin to walk out on Antile himself at his airplane sonata by now and sweating away, but we don't hear a thing as we gaze at the girl without any mother, born a machine, who could sing out success du scandal, a clickety-clack of the dactylic anapests, jerking the film through a circle of light, the soloist booed from the stage, the piano rolls looping their loops and 12 pianolas, electronic bells and a xylophone siren, another picabia made from the parts of a Model T Ford. Good Lord, she says, mon dieu. That must have been 1923, the year I went to the races with him at Atui, the year young Antile was going to play Cyclops for Jim. A working title indeed, she says. A walking tittle or tattle, I'd say, to your auto-mystophistical place. You're fishing again in some pre-Romanian river and don't understand that the riveters have it all over the readers who can't even master the minor recursions while minding the algorithmical gaps. No, <laughs> no one could actually play the piano roll A wrote into the score. The digital's moving at speeds and at intervals. Nobody's ten carboniferous digits could match. So down at the hurdle went Monzu, tossing his jock, and Eros the Twelfth and Lisere dashed at long odds for the finish. Sending out in the sea near Le Havre, you wouldn't net any sonnets, much less seigneurs out of Proust. You understand, she insists, there are no parallel lines and rivers that wind, and nothing but nothing, my love, appears to go here from inside the system. Trust me, I'm a truffler, I know my way around. And Pound, once again, that <laughs> very same year in his treatise, claiming for A's diachronic harmonics that sound, whatever the pitch, combination, etc., harmonize across time these series of chords, these arpeggios, wait to embrace through an interval silence the crux of the thing, the space in the music, like space in some canvas by Lewis, his fine demarcations of volume, cylindrical forms. You do comprehend these recursions are different from those you'd expect. The power plant cycles like no minuet, and so A, she says, was the cause of that riot, but nowhere was seen in the film. It's me, it is I on the screen. They call me the austere Mademoiselle Claire Lescaut. I'm some kind of cubist cold fish, the girl without any mother, born a machine who can nonetheless sing, and I stare down those riding plebes at the Champs-Élysées, alive in the interval. A, absconditis, diminished, however you like. 81, Chevu. The Man of Scepter, 82, Musique Imprévue, 83, Odieuse, Odieuse, 84, Atmosphère Torturant, quand elle est un fin percé le secret, son immense douleur inhumaine, 85, 86, 87, in real time, we're counting the titles, we number the causes, effects. Sonata Sauvage, piano, piano roll, siren and dactyl and drum. Will George in the war be faithful to Boschke, his wife? Will Olga and Ez trumpet moose? Will young Fräulein Kiesler run naked as Hetty Lamar? Fishing or fasting? Reprogram, reverse it, and search. Your working title, she says, might as well gesture at check. 
The girdles and chapex fished for me in my motherless maze when I thought I was Domier's laundress and not Miss Sulla Robatus, some loopy machine in your ghost. The gun of your ganglia somehow encoded the chip on your shoulder, the quantum mechanic under the hood of your truck. Before they made me the knee of your curve, the neural pathway encrypted for good. Was I not to dissolve in I am, but as antiparticulate anapest? And that other doctor, a dactyl, or a cat call out of the pit. Anyway, the joke was on P. A's pianola replacing the suffix, and he himself, it's antistrophe, turns unrolling Daphne's thighs from the bark. So, model T began the caveat, who as machinist made the shape that named a choreography. And then Empire's recital drove the riot way being required for Lascaux before she visits Leger's laboratory, where her lover there, among the angles and the geometric shapes, the silver discs and metal rods and knobs and dials and flashing beams of light, transfigures her. Had the Geeslers in Vienna at that moment, and she's eight years old. She's also in the lab, she's in the music, and the dance and the machine. And then, when A has finished playing at that theater and gifting us with such an angry crowd in Len Human, he synchronizes those piano rolls whose loops and variants of 88 prefigure microsecond hops between the frequencies of anti-jamming programs in torpedoes or computer links or mobile phones. This is ballet mechanique, the draft. This the working title. This, the initial location, the auto mystical place. We don't hear a thing as we call up archival search. Were you, oh my baby, meant to walk that washerwoman up the stairs with Leger Donier? The print went to Vienna and premiered in silence. Running credits anyway for Synchronism Music Guy. The Ostinati Road for friends and patrons five days later at the Star Play on. At first, the vertical and then the horizontal penetrations were derivatives of pianist and pianola. Neither got it all entirely right. The boat had caught a ride on George's rickshaw. I guess he's still a ghost. The cyborg wasn't yet a sibyl on the line, and A himself could never fully realize his 1923 designs. His codes were still dependent on a vacuum force and paper rolls with which he sought to synchronize his 12 or more machines. He hadn't met the MIDI technical cousin of Claire, his digital and instrumental interface. As if you teach the retrofitted to respond in sync, but not for 60 years. Still, the lady out of Dormier walks up the stairs and up the stairs and up the stairs beside the sun and these looped and 30 frames appear and reappear to summon music. No one hears where die rods, pistons, wheels, and gears and abstract forms reflected in the steel of a prismatic fracturing or gleam and try to sing. Says Ezra Pound. EP. EP says Ezra Pound. And gleam and try to sing and then lay jet. I'll says George Armstrong, a tweet no, glean that and piece try to in sing. place. And try Police to sing. will net you rioters at any cybernetic I'll database. And try to sing. Then peace. That piece that. in place. I'll chance these guys. guys. I'll chance these guys. I'll chance these guys. If someone might just connect that wire. I'll chance. That, chance. that Novia. I'll chance. Who pours out oil. Those gears that green things. And says P&A. P&A. Musical. Musical. Machines are part of life. They went their separate ways. They feel a little warm. That one does in place. Or feel. Machines. Or cool. Oh, it's not required of anyone to kneel. Oh, Shump really says that wire. They the music and the uh, film. Life. They didn't mesh. Required. They oh, went their separate ways. To the sucker works like two berserks in R.U.R. or Leger's lab. Machines, Machines are, are uh, musical. The pianos were all out of sync. All Do musical, that. it's I'll not be. required no, the in her forms of anyone to kneel. Anyone to kneel. 
as if you count out miles of spectrum spread they with They went their separate spread. ways. Some cafe tabac. You'd uh, you've said spreads with Or modify the track at will and run the thing right. Quadriform? And was that laundress just one friend of fisherman? All, all smiles. Ah, oh, yes. In all the winding the rivers season. and at sea. The anolas says he. Out of sync. E. P. Not Ezra Pound. Express paquette in negligee. Not George Antile. Otui. No, not Champs Elysee. In prose, who goes? The ghost of Claire Lescaux. And not Lescaux, sans mother a machine? A hemistic, a click, some dream you've seen. Some obligation anyway to start assigning parts. Whose art? Not mine. Some rhyme or other, you'd suppose. Delete, suppose. Some interlude between the creature's double features. Let's go. Escorted from the stage? What page? Leger. Constructed objects, fountain pen, a pendulum against a silhouette. Antile. A cigarette? Lamar Paquette. Leger. These squares and circles, animation play. EP. I see arpeggios, prismatic images of day. Picabia. The lady light Parisian aglow. Lamar, Paquette, let's go. Antile, they said I had all Paris by the ear. I was in full career. Leger, that year I had them by. Paquette, I know the eye. Picabia, by Model T or Model A, I had divined a rod. Leger, my God, these quotes. A shiny metal sphere. And tile that spins and disappears. Lamar, for what? And tile, a thought emerging intermittently between the wars among the whores of discourse. <coughs> Horse that is of race course. Force of different color, go. System error 218, Otui, not Antile. Astound, not Ezra Pound. Constructed objects, fountain pen, a pendulum against a silhouette. Hetty Kiesler growing up, new file. Which says, my sister system, I'll not take it back. I'll just stay on track, I think, and tell you one more time. It's prisms and not prison, like I said. I didn't say? Well, anyway. And no dissolves or fade outs, no irises or wipes. Everything quick cut and edgy, from the pure geometries to Kiki's painted lips and eyes. I love that walk from Len Humane right up and into Dudley Murphy's lens, where only I in that ballet was fully conscious. I even heard the absent music in my ears. They'd added something by Mio, of course, but secretly I walked those stairs on George's arm. Our loops and our recursions, not quite waltzing to Matilda, right in step, it's true. Then suddenly for me, no more Champs-Élysées, no more long afternoons with him at at Antuy or drinks with the Café du Dôme. Ah, oh, home, my favorite place, my resting place, mon vieux. Who'd have programmed metamorphoses like these? Migraines among transmigrating neural forms and even A in Hollywood to work on Plainsmen for DeMille at Paramount? They tied up Gary Cooper to a stake and lit the fire beneath his feet, accompanied by something like the mechanisms for a piano that had conjured rioters for Claire Lescaux and I was she. The silent diva and the Model T get scrapped when even Dali comes to town proclaiming Cecil B. a great surrealist. The times are strange. Airwaves all awash with bands that swing or Autry singing down home out of range. Ecstasy has made a star of Miss Lamar, although nobody in the USA had seen it. Girl 17 and born of mother no machine. Alas, an unfucked bride. Swimming naked and observed by handsome virile male actor name of Mog, 
her simulated sex on sofa, later advertised to be the real ride. Movements to be reproduced by analog or digitized. First prize, ALU will occur 300,000 times in human genome to be known and coded soon enough. <coughs> That's why A and Dali loose their dog, the Andalou, on B and U. Coeval then and coefficient in the codices of coinage, they sit together in the private screening room the mogul and the moilers make a single molecule for a moment as modalities come into play. The way the young man strops his razor by a balcony, then deliberately draws the blade across the woman's open eye that bleeds on down the screen where just before they lit up the Dakotas with some rushes of calamity and wild bill to test the sound. No sound now, but Dali's voice whispering to George and Miss Lamar, DeMille beginning to be ill. In 29, we used a gramophone behind a curtain, Tristan and some tangos, but you'll get the dirty puns. That man who cuts her eye first glances at La Lune, and then we see her face as if it were her ass, his gaze half moon. Here I become her oi de ghoul, he diddle with the dildo. So we play this little goo de vache on every scatalog and watch the ants emerge from his stigmata. No, the way he's roped to this machinery, he drags pianos stuck with putrefying donkeys and dos padres, see? The priests tied up and on their backs in bondage of some kind as part of this contrivance. And DeMille out of his seat by now and saying, Brother Rat, or Brother Lap, the file at this point labeled Diction Inconsistent. So we'll give them Custer, Lincoln, Hickok, Cody, Hopalong, and Jesus Christ at Rancho Grande. George, but what the hell is this? I don't. No, she says, but that's the way I heard it. Also, I've begun of late to feel odd affinities with Paramount and MGM and fully integrated scores of soothing violins and mellow horns, and more than that, I had this queer attraction. Was I lesbo? Did my database pick up some viral pixels on my transatlantic trek? Or Miss Lamar? Although I still miss Paris and Picabia and Ez, I'd always been, just like they said, American, as Novia or light bulb or arpeggio or pitch. I'd harmonized across the times as if embracing intervals and rhymes, and here I was with Salvador and Cecil's kitsch. My former lover back there fishing off love, and my senescent self still climbing stairs in ludic loops. 42. Keyboard and the bleeding head of Donkey A. 43, Donkey A replaced by Donkey B. 44, male cyclist in a housemaid's dress, a closing door. 45, a woman's wagging tongue whose text is next, Tire la langue. It reels in time, those white keys teeth, the language flowing through a leaking roof, a gamble and a godel proof. Donkey C is in our key, alive, alert, aloof. She says, although I seem to be that one qui perd and only climbed the stairs, I felt immortal next to Hetty, now who really lived, and so could only die. Her dark machine and that bright ghost to spectrum spread like some black raven's wing. And George would write their song. But as for you, my neural netted friend, 
No one nominates an end. So try again at the beginning, where you counted rivets and were tempted by the tempered steel. I'd style you as titular Titanathir, clone from Eocene and two Titanium, statistical as your specific gravity and valence and atomic weight. If you could swim, they'd cast you in her place. In the Salzburg Palace basement or the hidden room of history in a flat, then show himself another print of the offending scene. That same film his agents had put again at the end at great expense and then destroyed. Obsession made him a discerning connoisseur. This print just a little faded, that one slightly dark, but always there was her orgasmic Saint Teresa of a mouth all of her mimi and Delilah nipples that the mill would say were sugar coated with religion just for Samson's tongue. Writhing hips and thighs and naked ass, of course she left him actually escape by means of a disguise and complicated ruse sometime in the spring of 1937. But she listened first to all those conversations among guests who come on business with the Hetzenberger Industries, like Krupp and Basil Zahra. Mondel had the reputation of a man who'd start a war if that would move the goods. Girls kissed her hand from time to time, and Goering held her chair. No one understood that she could understand the technicalities. It was our kind of music that accompanied the movie in her mind. As if someone who sat beside her at the baby grand on which she conjured storms in ecstasy kept pointing out a spectral figure at an upright in the corner shadows of the stately palace room where she had been a silent party to analyses of radio control and interception by the politicians and the engineers. As if he played a phrase or bar a whole ballet of permutations of configured variations on the number 88, and all were answered by the keys before her, note for note, as if the notes were happening pursuant to an instrument for her arrest and she could send encryptions of her own desires to a satellite or submarine in some determinable future's sky or sea. As if she were herself some wireless net through which transmission played its working titles and entitled wakings and its wacky tales through which some clamorous skull prepared to solo for her Turing test or sing along like yet another pianola with a fan. Was it impractical to play piano roles inside the missiles and torpedoes that a radio would guide along a band of frequencies stretching out to 88? Although this music from the phantasmagoric Paris was it impractical to play piano military roles? military application and eventually produced more racket than a dozen inside riots at the after the missiles and torpedoes. In 1941, the War Department didn't think that George and Hetty could defeat the Nazis on their own. The Nazis on their own, the War Department. Leaving Cecil B. and Dali talking teleology at Paramount, they went to work with a template. Cecil B. and Paramount, they went to work. Was it impractical to play piano rolls inside the missiles and torpedoes? Finally made it sing. And now... Your cell phone rings. Your cell phone rings. The wireless internet turns up a site devoted altogether to the mini the programs and the venture synthesizers and the Apple Quadra that have synchronized the very music that created hot thing frequencies uh, and play it dancing a la ballet mechanique across contemporary spectra spread out in the night. In the night. Clarice go again, what shaken from the stage. Leger's laundress climbs and climbs the stairs. Male star systems cross-link. Oh, she Just climbs the stairs your, again. A constellation that's controlled by downlink Leger signals or playing their encryptions, Domier. which have harmonized in time. If E.P. thumped the drum in Paris and attempted a bassoon when A composes so trios and the sonatas drum. there for Olga Red. Marx in uh, Hollywood with Marx B flat and Major Olga Rudge in Hollywood in and B flat Major Clarinet. Together by despairing exiles, studio composers, 
and indigenous eccentrics just to play a bit of Schoenberg in the war and keep their spirits up. In 1850s, difference engine pulling phantom coaches from the past. Quite disembodied in a beautiful machine. Express podcast. Where express podcast and the Harpo Marks, the sparks that fly. Difference engine pulling phantom coaches from the past. Uh, loaded with the numbers uh, electric Mervia and a dude and a Mary Gann multiplied by the idea of a red caboose. Millstar in the Where sky Indy or a disc clavier that plays clear on Lawrence. times on certain that rhymes. Door of Montparnasse and Harper Marx. These sparks that fly and those pneumatic given notes that all of them quite disembodied in a beautiful machine. done in spite of Paramount from Miss Lamar. Miss and then it's gone from Millstar in the sky, or just the clear that's clear on time's uncertain rhymes. Twelve hundred majors in your file for sequences. Twelve hundred majors. Selector samples from a hand in hand crank style in an orchestral bell and bi-wing props. Prepare a click track, it's click track. track. And where the signatures that change six hundred times. Beware the signatures the that sign 600 times. Ever isomorphic. Admit the laundress and delete the scope. Delete the autological. Delete the autological. When every Let go. on the land cries out, delete. just one more time delete. and play it, Sam. Delete. The answer sticks right delete. in your gorge. Delete. I am not Sam. My name is George. My name is George. <laughs> Not Cedar Mill, an illness in the village of the will. A poisoned well, a ringing bell. Disgust, disgrace with nearly everything in place. In Hollywood is nothing good. The marble temples made of wood. The templates too, the idle Dagon stuck in glue. A certain bet in neural net. The Russell Paradox inside your set. A rural ease and honeybees, returning money on the lease. CB, your friends were all effete. Antile, this film of yours about Lafitte. They fucked each other in the ass. And on the grass, those pirate lads. Let's go, our ham went running with the bulls. CB, could any of them pay their bills? Lamar, I've nipples here to sell. Antile, and they had stories they could tell. CB, who's this Lesko? I'm sure not anyone I know. Lafitte, a pirate, get that in your notes. Bassoon, put Harpo Marx in quotes. EP, when he was young, George worked for me. We're stuck here in this DVD. Desktop, laptop, box of chips. Mainframe swallows up our fame. Bits of code all recombined. The Sen might just as well be Rhine. CB, the past. Antile, at last. Lamar, too long is late, but not too far. Plain text ciphered, star by star.
says, steer does it by stare. Milo's prime beef qui était sur le toit is either going up or coming down whenever not is now is not, not, not now, anyhow, old Mac Iron Bomb appended copy to a copy and said, copy that repeats itself plus copy of that copy and original all hypercarded glut or metalipsis boot again, you fruit. It's nipples, not in Naples. Lafitte, not with your feet. Buccaneer, a bayou waterway, a privateer, 123 pirogue, and Andy Jackson, too. New score. She says, and that was limbo, not that bimbo, Tex. Try lingo next. Try glossing alu, angel capital, AI, and ASR. Try haptic interface and PGP and kubit. Luddite, if you like, but total touch environment is on the way with virtual sex, though Hetty gets all those parts in all those films. As for me, I ended up in MIT in some robotics lab, but that comes later on. In between comes Friedman cracking purple in Los Alamos and CB's pirate flick with Georgia score, and yes, my own dear sweet dumb ex out riding on his charger from Atui, brandishing his relic of a saber from the Franco-Prussian War and straight into a column of advancing German tanks. Never underestimate the new technologies. The place is in your face. Strange to think CB, CB had made his first commandments in the very year of Lenyamin. The rest, perhaps, amendments. And some justice there in Dali's Delhi, east of the Chinese. A Murak Sands and the Mojave Ramses and 300 chariots, a golden calf, the laws and orgies, all the Israelites, the Pharaoh city and an avenue of 20 sphinxes worked out the techniques to blast the Paris avant-garde and put the Samson shears in Hetty's hand. All downhill for Paris, everybody in LA, sell out or be sold into some exhibition of degenerates, collaborate and sing like a at Pia. La Chevalier. They told me she was working on Portia Flats and just broke down completely when the news came in about the war. The journey over the Normandy with Louis Mayer, who had offered her a job, an old core porter who kept whispering, Oh, you're the top, and it's the lovely and experiment right in her ear had made her pretty optimistic in a gray, grim world. But on that day, she walked right off the set and right past Spencer Tracy Steinbeck and the lot of them still costumed as that simple wait from Mexico and saying, find me George Antar. We're going to sink the Hansenbergers and the Crips with my torpedo. That they tried to do. And for a while, I toted round their template, patented for George and Hetty Kiesler Markey, which briefly was once her married name. The post-war world was confusing and a little flat for someone like myself who'd left her husband fishing off love to join the brilliant entourage that pitched its diachronics across time but came to grief in rhyme. For a girl like me, without a mother born as a machine, I'd always had a mortal fear of Philistine. I went to Princeton first and showed the figures round the institute, where only the eccentric Baricelli took an interest. We played four hands at George's early compositions, sitting side by side at one piano. I think he'd seen my film. He said, your mutant language has evolved by crossings and selections, just as species do. Take one of my cards. A symbiogenic birth entirely from the numbers, operating on their own in simula on DEC Sys 10. But here it is product of a B-math symbiont or parasite. Give it to Lamar. 
Your friend's piano rolling weapon maybe didn't end the war, but it could end the world. Its progeny will be evolved in ways you cannot see, and you yourself deserve a godal number for your pains. He said, are you alive? I thought he was a little nuts, but kissed him anyway before we drove to town for Samson on a local screen. And there she was, in all her glory, with that hunk mature who wielded for sure the jawbone of the ass against his enemies, just like it says in Judges. Judge us, that's what we said in Paris, if you dare. And did they dare? Did they draft a thousand barbers just to cut our hair? Did they draft a thousand barbers? Who but we could best put forth the riddle of the lion's carcass and the swarm of bees? We'd caught 300 foxes, put the firebrands to their tails, and loosed them barking in the standing corn. Such corn there was, and kitsch. We dwelt then at the top of Etom Rock, which crum crumbled in the end and made us exiles. Had they done their plowing with our heifer? Did George's hair grow long again, grinding in the prison house of Paramount? Hetty played the harlot for the Philistines, but that was all an act. Here they keep old Prince of Lenyamin and Ballet Mechanique in some dark archive where, like Mondo with his Prince of Ecstasy, they turn each other on with clips cut from the body of our work. At MIT, they want to know what makes me tick. I blip and I flicker, but I turn no trick. They're racing with the Japs at Honda to perfect their human motion simulation software and a clumsy biped toddler they call Dick. I don't tell them much. What floundered first on Flanders Field wasn't place, in any case. Nor when jockeys rode against the panzers crossing near Sars Pottery, the undefended River Mouth. That other river that I love still passes Twa and Mayun and our shiny, hungry, haunted city of between the wars before it loops through Normandy and past Rouen to empty in the sea. Someone's fishing there. He looks like you. I think I loved him once. A washerwoman tired as I am now stops her climbing up the endless stairs beside the sun and looks behind her with appreciation at the view. I loved him once. A washerwoman tired as I am now stops her climbing up the endless stairs beside the sun and looks behind her with appreciation at the view. He looks like you. I think I loved him once. A washerwoman, tired as I am now, stops her climbing up the endless stairs beside the Seine and looks behind her with appreciation at the view. <laughs>